Welcome to International Ball EuroLeague pregame show. Uh, today we're covering Fenerbahce versus Zenith of St. Petersburg. Round 24 action. We'll be speaking live with Mr. Mauricio Gerardini in Istanbul, Turkey, right before the game, 8.45 p.m. local tip-off time. Fenerbahce currently sitting at 13 and 10, is on a hot eight-game winning streak, having previously uh, beat uh, Zenit of St. Petersburg 65 to 73 at home in December 30, December 3rd, 2020. Key matchups will be Canadian team leader Kevin Pangos averaging 12 and 6. Arturos Gutiatis 11 points per game. Will Thomas is 8 and 5 for coach Javi Pasquale versus team leader. Jan Vesili, 13 and 5. Nan Nando De Colos, 13 points per game. Lorenzo Browns, 11 points per game for coach Igor Kokoskov. Canadian Deschamps Pierre reported game time decision. And for our international audience to watch the full game, please uh, subscribe at tv.euroleague.net. Uh, great pleasure having Mr. Gerardini here. Uh, hello, Mr. Marika, how are you? Hi, Tom. I'm okay. How about you? Good, good. Thank you for doing this with us live right there on the court. Uh, really appreciate you. Uh, we are uh, on international ball. We've just uh, been following uh, Fenerbahce, the EuroLeague, uh, and uh, all the great success Canadians have been having. Uh, you were going to this game very confident because previously when you played with, against Zenit, you, beat, you were on a four-game losing streak. <laughs> And then you beat them in Zenit, getting back to momentum. But now you're on an eight-game uh, winning streak, and uh, you're hosting them at home. So uh, how confident are you, uh, are you in this game? I mean, this season, I think, has been teaching everyone that uh, no one can be confident about anything because uh, – there is no home court advantage anymore. You know, the arenas, as you can see, uh, are empty. And uh, we were used to have a full house, screaming full house, a true uh, six men on the court. And that doesn't happen anymore. So it's not a, it's not a factor in how the game goes. Uh, we played a brilliant game in St. Petersburg a couple of months ago, but that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, they have been the surprise team of the season. They deserve to be where they are right now in the standings. And tonight is going to be a, a very, very challenging game for us, for sure. It was mentioned that uh, the Canadian Deschamps here is game time decision. How is he and uh, will he <coughs> possibly play today? No, he's going to be playing. We need him. I don't know how many minutes he will be able to be on the court. But um, he's going to be part of the game, you know. So we will see Deshaun going against Kevin Pangos. It definitely is a Canadian night tonight. Uh, how how uh, have, uh, has the team adjusted, uh, you know, since going on this new momentum of an 8 and all <laughs> winning streak? Well, um, I think we recover... You know, the guys that had some injuries uh, before and, uh, you know, we were without uh, Nando Colo for almost six weeks. We had some other, let's say, injuries to different players. And I think the, the acquisition of uh, uh, Marco Guduric from the Memphis Grizzlies, I think, was the the glue piece that has brought everyone together. And I think is is the guy who brought somehow confidence and balance to, to our picture. And again, everybody has, has clicked in. Everybody's playing well. Definitely much better than the beginning of the season. Let's not forget that this is a brand new group. We just added, uh, you know, another NBA veteran, Kylo Quinn. And we hope he can, you know, help uh, under the board. So we'll see. And uh, and again, uh, there is definitely more confidence than there that there was, uh, you know, the last time we spoke, you know, for sure. Uh, Jan, uh, Jan Vesely, your team leader, has uh, been uh, ex uh, playing exceptionally well. Uh, in January, he was uh, a EuroLeague Player of the Month, and then just past week was the uh, Player of the Week. Uh, uh, 
you know what, what you know what is uh, with the, with uh, with the supporting cast. Uh, who else is expected to step up? Obviously, uh, you've had uh, other players that have good <coughs> been big part of the, the success of the team. Well, again, um, our team is very balanced in terms of uh, scoring distribution. Definitely, the best shooter and scorer is. Uh, You know, it's Nando De Colo, but uh, we seem to be one of those teams that can find a different protagonist on uh, on any night. You know, we do have another player who was in with the Raptors for for a short while, Lorenzo Brown, and uh, is you know he's definitely got talent and can be a great European performer. Uh, again, I'd mentioned before Marco Guduric. Uh, but again, Deshaun Pierre or Jarrell Eddy, we, we have a, you know, a very balanced attack. So don't expect one guy to score 30 or 40 points. But we might have more than just one person in double figures for sure. So what, 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 what should the audience expect, those uh, that have been following your team and both teams? Uh, what, what, what kind of action should they expect tonight? Well, I think um, um, Zenit is a very, very solid team. I think it's one of those, let's say, traditional uh, teams based on a on a very strong link between point guard and big guy and center. Uh, they have, uh, you know, a very nice structured system. They play very good defense. We will try to run more than they do. We will try to. You know, uh, we like a faster pace, uh, but again, uh, what worries about tonight is Zenit has been unbelievably successful away from home. So, like I told you at the beginning, uh, home court advantage doesn't mean anything. Uh, Zenit has almost been unbeatable on the road this year, and that's the reason why they're one of the top teams right now. Well, Mr. Mauricio, thank you so much for taking the, uh, uh, you know, the time out of your busy schedule and doing this uh, international ball yearly pregame show with us. Uh, I want to wish you good health and good, uh, continued success. Thank you again. Thank you, Tom. All the best to you. Thank you. Bye.